What is up, guys? This is Sigler95 coming at you guys live with another exciting installment in my Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Gonna have a great video today. We're gonna battle our rival again. We're gonna catch our first wild Pokemon. We're gonna get a Pokedex. I mean, that's just three of the things I can think of off the top of my head. But before we dive into the walkthrough, it came to my attention that from my previous video, some people didn't truly understand uh, Boss Tweed or get the reference. So I've got an assistant today who's going to be doing a little bit of a history lesson for you guys. So make sure you listen up close. What is up guys? This is Sigler95 coming at you live with some knowledge. It seems to me that some people don't know who Boss Tweed is. And you know, I'm not going to hate, I'm not going to hate. A long time ago. But this is man is a legend. There's a reason I named my Pokemon after Boss Tweed. So let's dive in. So this guy was a politician in the late 1800s in New York City, and he was corrupt. Uh, he was at one point he was the third largest landowner in New York City. Uh, he was end up convicted in for stealing an amount estimated to 25 to 45 million. And that's back in the 1800s from political corruption. And later estimates ranged as high as 200 million. And this man escaped from jail, made it off to like Cuba and Spain, and then got extradited and then ended up dying in jail, unfortunately. But there's a reason I named my Pokemon. My Bulbasaur is going to be as strong and as boss as this William Tweed. Look at this guy. I mean, look at him. Let me zoom in. Look at that guy. That guy is money. And that's what my Bulbasaur is going to be. But without further ado, let's get back to the walkthrough. Couldn't have said it better myself. Just an absolute great summary on who Boss Tweed was. And I hope you guys just get a little glimpse at what my Bulbasaur is going to be. He's going to be raking in that yen or polka dollars or whatever it's called in this game. Yeah, I don't name my Pokemon Boss Tweed lightly. But whatever, let's get back to the walkthrough. This is part two. If you remember last time, we were given the parcel from Professor Oak, or for Professor Oak, that we need to go give him. So if you're trying to get back to Pallet Town quickly, you can hop these ledges. If you never played Pokemon before, you can hop down ledges, but you cannot jump up them. Whatever, I guess it's science or physics or whatever. You can't just go up ledges. But you may notice right off the bat, you're not hearing that annoying clicking every time I hit a button. Or hopefully you're not. Um... I switched out my light up mechanical keyboard as as swag as that keyboard is it's not ideal for streaming so we head into professor oak's lab just talk to him look at that squirtle just wasting away sitting on the bench how sad but you can deliver his parcel and he will pay you back by giving you a pokedex which is a high tech probably very expensive encyclopedia that very, very, very few people have. But I get it, because I live next door to him. <laughs> so he gives you the Pokedex and hopes that you will fulfill his lifelong dream of catching every single Pokemon. <gasps> Excuse me. And he also gives you some Pokeballs, which is really nice because we'll finally be able to catch wild Pokemon on our own. Um, so you can start building up your team, and if you're playing alongside me or you're playing any pokemon game uh typically i recommend you kind of playing your team out ahead of time but i didn't do that for this game <laughs> so we're gonna, i don't really know what my team's gonna be it's kind of changing but i'll probably catch some pokemon just to be bodies for my team early on you really only have access to certain pokemon and certain typings this early on so just one second, I'm going to mess with the options. The sound seems very loud. Well, it's pretty much as low as it goes. That might be better. 
So, first thing I'd recommend doing is going up to your rival's house. He tells you that his sister has a town map and she won't give it to you, but she clearly does. Daisy, just fine, fine roommate, or neighbor, not roommate, ugh. Neighbor. But look at their house. They don't even have beds or any upstairs or anything. It's just like a TV table and a sink. So that's... I wouldn't want to live there. But now that we've got the Pokedex, we're finally ready to leave Pallet Town. And so once again, we're going to leave without saying goodbye to our mother. <laughs> and we are going to head off on this wild adventure. So on this first route, you can find Caterpie, Pidgey, and Rattata. Um, none of those Pokemon are very good. Pidgey would probably be the best of them all, but I'm probably not going to use Pidgey. If you've never caught or played Pokemon before... Oh, I miss. It was like a 5% chance of that missing. Uh, the, I'd recommend you want to get the Pokemon's health point low, so at least... ooh. Well, I guess I'm not catching that one. Um, you want to get their health pool in like the yellow or red. Red's best. And then if you can, you want to put a status condition on them like paralysis or sleep. And that increases your chance to catch. So I just learned a move called Leech Seed, which is actually a really good move. If you use it on a Pokemon every turn that they're in battle, it'll drain life from them and add it to your own health pool. So I would say it's really useful for when you're fighting a Pokemon that's stronger than you or a defensive Pokemon, especially like gym battles and stuff. So if you went Bulbasaur like me, I'd recommend keeping that move. So I'm probably going to catch this Pidgey just to have on the roster. Um, your rival that you battle, that we'll be battling later in this episode, has two Pokemon. One of them is, I believe, level 8. And the other is level 6. So you don't want to go in there just empty-handed. It'd be good to have another Pokemon on your team. Even if it's just to take a hit while you use a potion on your starter, I'd highly recommend that. So there we go. We caught Pidgey. Woohoo! First wild-caught Pokemon! You know what? That deserves a drink. So one thing I'm going to be doing in this series is I think I'm going to be trying a new drink every time. I don't know if y'all can see this. This is called an energy drink called Dragon Ball Z Spirit Bomb. I have no idea what it tastes like. But I have a pretty nice local grocery store nearby that uh, has a lot of cool exotic drinks. So I feel like I'm going to try one. It's right near my gym, so I go by there a lot. But I'm just going to nickname you bird actually no i got a better name name you d like d oops like d from uh always sunny you know they always called her a bird she's a bird but yeah like i said i probably won't be using pidgey i'm just gonna be just have it but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon, and then we are going to be heading west to where we can catch some new Pokemon we haven't seen before. And eventually we'll be seeing our rival over there. I do not think I'm ready to take on my rival. That's pretty good. Kind of sour. Oh, it's like blue. It's like as blue as Gatorade. It's pretty good. I wonder how, wonder how much inter how much caffeine and stuff it has. It's got niacin, <laughs> pantothenetic acid. Sounds trippy. All right, so if you head over here, oops, I forgot something. But over there in that patch of grass, you can find a new Pokemon called Nidoran. Uh, depending on which game you're playing, the Nidoran will be male or female, and they evolve. They have different evolutions, whether they're male or female. Over here's a potion. Um, the female final evolution is Nidoqueen, Queen, and she is more of a defensive Pokemon, but they both have good offense and good stats and good move pool. Uh, the male version is Nidoking, King, if you couldn't guess, and he's a little more offensive, but they both have good moves. Both Pokemon I'd recommend. Another Pokemon you can find over here is Mankey, which is a fighting type Pokemon, which you don't often see fighting types this early. Uh, so that's a really good Pokemon I'd recommend picking one up. 
I am going to kill this Ratata for the experience. And I mentioned in the last video that I'll probably be uh, skipping a lot of wild battles. Um, I'm not going to do it like early on because I mean we're just getting into it. Like Pokemon that I'm fighting, I'm uh, I'm actually needing to fight for experience, and I'd recommend fighting some Pokemon pretty early on. You don't want to get behind. The first gym is pretty quickly after um, the Viridian Forest, which we'll be going through in the next video. So if you don't get at least like level 12, 13 in Viridian Forest, you're going to have a hard time against Brock, the first gym leader. But yeah, so while we're just grinding away at Pokemon, or grinding away at wild Pokemon, I'd like to say um, thanks for all the support in the first few videos. I know some of y'all are probably surprised. I, oh, there's the Mankey. This is the guy I'm looking for. Level 2. That sucks, but okay. I'm going to pick him up anyways. Um, thanks for all the support in the first few videos. I uploaded a video I found on my hard drive um, that I had to record during nursing school. <laughs> y'all, Some of y'all may have seen it. It's a wound care video. Uh, I think I might upload some of those videos. There's like six or seven of them. Just kind of fun. Switch things up. Show you guys a little bit of what nursing school is like. But yeah, okay, here we go. We caught this Mankey. Now, Mankey's like well known to be like a very angry Pokemon. Gets scrappy. He gets into fights a lot. Extremely quick to anger. And thrashing away the next instant. So I'm gonna name him <laughs> Pat Bev. Well, I don't like that actually. P Bev. After Patrick Beverly, a player in the NBA that I hate, <laughs> and I have hated ever since he hurt Russell Westbrook diving at his leg. But that's, that's a conversation for another time. I'm probably going to piss off some Rocket fans. I don't even know if he plays for the Rockets anymore. No, he's at the Clippers. Yeah, he's at the Clippers. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go heal up, and then we're going to train up a little bit, and we are going to fight our rival. Ooh. How long have we been recording? So I think what I'm going to do here, uh, everyone, is I'm going to cut out this training. Uh, Y'all don't need to see me just grinding away at wild Pokemon. But when we get back, we will be fighting our rival, Bovid. Stay tuned for more. Hey, real quick. So I was training up for my rival battle, and I ran into a level 5 Sparrow. Now, I did not know... Sparrow was in this uh, grass, so that's good to know. Sparrow is a decidedly better Pokemon than Pidgey. It evolves earlier on, or its final evolutions earlier on, Pharaoh, as opposed to Pidgeot's evolution, like level 30-something. Uh, it has a higher attack stat and speed. It's it's not as over overall balanced, but personally I think it's better than Pidgeotto or Pidgeot. So if you're looking for a, an aggressive Pokemon to have early on, come to this patch of grass, get a Sparrow, or get a Mankey. Alright, I'm going to go back to training. We'll be back to fight our rival. Alright team, we are back. I'm just healing up my Pokemon after that training session. I ended up catching that level 5 Sparrow and swapped it out for that Pidgey. Um, I think Sparrow is just a better Pokemon, especially early on in the game. So let's take a look at this team before we go on. I got that Tom Cruise, that Sparrow, level 6. Uh, nose Peck, pretty good attack and de uh, speed. And I got my Bows Tweed, level 8. Uh, really gonna be using Leech Seed, gonna have to be kind of strategic with this battle. Then I got P Bev, level 5. Great attack, good speed, low HP, <laughs> low defense. But without further ado, let's go fight our rival. I stocked up on potions and got some more Pokeballs at the Poke Center, so I am ready. Join that Spirit Bomb. Woo! Be like, Goku! <sighs> let's go kill our rival! Alright, so you just gotta walk over here. Make sure you're ready. Um, 
let's see. I think he starts off with his bird Pokemon, so I'm gonna start off with my bird Pokemon. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise crazy. So here he goes, he just appears out of nowhere. He's talking about the Pokemon League. If you keep going to the west, you actually find the entrance to the Pokemon League, but as any real trainer knows, you can't fight the Pokemon League until you have all eight gym badges. And this dude just started his adventure, so I don't know what the hell he's thinking. But he's going to start off with his Pidgey. Level 9. Oh, snap. <laughs> I had major, majorly underestimated what level it was. <laughs> So, this might be a problem. <laughs> this might be take two. I might need to take two after this. So I'm just gonna try to lower its stats, make it a little bit easier for my next Pokemon. Um, <laughs> this is definitely a tough battle at the beginning. I probably should have trained up a little bit more, but I got bored. Um, Normally, I don't recommend using Growl, Leer. Normally, your Pokemon are just strong enough to like take them out on their own. But this early on, it can be kind of tough. So I'm just going to be lowering its stats and then go for the kill. Oh my god, and they got a critical hit. So, in case you don't know, if you get a critical hit that nullifies um, any status change. So if I lower your attack four times, and you get a critical hit, like, that doesn't matter. And also no sand attack, which lowers accuracy. So this Pidgey's really just a grade A... Uh, I can't say that word on YouTube. Uh, tool. So I'm gonna lower its defense a little bit. I was kind of planning on powering through this. I thought they were level 7. <laughs> um, definitely not level 7. So this is a little bit of a challenge. But I lowered its stats, so things should be a little bit easier. But his next Pokemon, his starter... Ooh, almost got it. Come on, P-Bev. Come on, P-Bev! Let's go! That's gonna be a good amount of XP. Learned Low Kick, so that's a fighting type move. So that's a good move. It does more damage based on how heavy the opponent is. Obviously, you don't know how heavy every Pokemon is, but... Uh... So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch to Bile's Tweet, even though he's got a weakness, or he is weak to the guy's starter. <laughs> really hope I don't lose this battle. And I'm gonna hit him with the Leech Seed. And I am just gonna be draining life from him. And he's gonna lower my attack. That's fine. I don't care. So this is more of a strategic battle <laughs> than anything. Okay, so he does like four damage to me. Let's see how much I heal back. Alright, yeah, so I, I'm pretty much set here. Because I don't think Charmander knows Ember yet, a fire type move. But if you're fighting a Bulbasaur, like if you got Squirtle and your opponent has Bulbasaur, he'll know Leech Seed. And I'm pretty sure if you're fighting a Squirtle, it'll know Bubble. So you gotta watch out for that. I'm gonna switch to p -Bab, see if he can survive one hit and get a Leer off. Or maybe get some split XP. So even if you switch out, it's still gonna let you heal. Which is nice. It would be like in this status, stasis where he hits me and then I'll heal back for more damage. So, maybe not the most heroic way to win a battle, but uh... For being as under-leveled as I am, pretty good. Oh, I got a quick Alright, whatever. Down goes P-Bev. Good. Honestly, good. <laughs> I should have named him P-Bev, because now I have to root for him. I don't want to root for him. But I think I should have this one in the bag, maybe? Oh. God, it does no damage. Can't wait till I learn like Vine Whip or Leak, uh, Razor Leaf or something good. But that's it. Alright, I was a little worried there. I was a little worried when I saw level 9. But I'm gonna get a chunk of XP. I'm gonna hit level 9. That's what I'm talking about, Boss Tweed. Coming out of there without even a scratch on you. It's gonna be 
gonna give me a little bit of money. So he tells me to quit dawdling and get a move on, even though I just crushed him. I didn't crush him, I beat him. Of course, wild battle. Another Mankey. Level 4 Mankey. The only reason I'm killing this is because I think it'll be worth good XP. And, uh... Mankey, so... I can't get really complex with how Pokemon gain stats, but basically, like... If a Pokemon's highest stat is attack, and you kill that, or you knock out that Pokemon, you get an effort value towards attack, meaning that the next time you level up, you will get more attack to gain. It's kind of the simple way to put it. We could talk about that more later. But this is a good place to stop. If you remember, this guy was laying on the ground not letting you pass, but now he will let you pass because you delivered the parcel to Professor Oak. Next time, we're going to be heading into Viridian Forest, getting to Pewter City, checking out that town, and maybe getting ready to fight our first gym battle. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Expect more videos soon. I worked three shifts in a row this week, and then I'm off for the rest of the weekend. So expect another video probably Thursday, maybe Friday. But thanks for sticking around. This has been Sigma95 coming at you guys live, and I will see you all next time.